Hey, what's going on? This is your boy B. Welcome to another episode where the truth lives here. And on this episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about five ways, five ways that you can hack your water. I know a lot of guys, you know, you guys have, you know, it, it can be a little bit, uh, a little struggle getting all the water you need in a given day. But don't worry, I'm going to give you guys five tasty ways to do that. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Let's get right into it. Well, we all know water is important, right? It's like it's water, it's oxygen. I mean, those are the two most important things. If you don't have those two, you have no life. When they're out looking for different planets, the first thing that they're looking for is water. It is essential. We know that. So how does water, right? How does water uh, relate to our hair strands, our beard strands? Well, you may not know this, but each strand is made up about one fourth of water. And we need water and that helps us, uh, our cells to to turn over that helps us to produce uh, healthy hair um, and if we're not getting enough water then when our hair begins to cycle right it goes through three cycles then it won't fully cycle because it's in a dehydrated state and the water that we do have or that we would have in our body it's going to go to the organs because it's the body is made to keep us alive so it's going to leave your hair strands your beard strands and it's going to redirect and go to those or organs so you can stay alive another thing water is important for is removing toxins removing waste if we're not removing toxins and waste out of our bodies right then what can happen over time is we can begin to experience hair thinning. We can begin to experience our beard thinning. We can begin to experience how our, our skin begins to change. It doesn't have that polish, that bright, uh, youthful look. So water has a really big, uh, plays a big part in just maintaining a youthful look. Not only that, when our body is in hydration mode, when our body is in hydration mode, it's more electrical, meaning, you know, you got a lot more energy versus when you are in a dehydrated state, then what you are in is a danger mode because that's where disease is. These things begin to occur um, in our lives. So you want to make sure you drink an adequate amount of water. But I know, hey, man, listen, I can't sit here and drink you know, 48 bottles of water, okay? I can't sit here and drink a half a gallon to a gallon. It's just not in the cars for me today, and I understand. So let me give you guys a couple ways that you can get your water in, okay? So, did you know that water, this, this is over 90% of water, this is watermelon, watermelon, melon. <laughs> so it has over 90% of water. So you can go ahead and get you some watermelon in. That's going to suffice. Now, you still want to drink uh, uh, a couple bottles or, you know, uh, you still want to drink water, but this is another way to get it in. You make your little smoothie, okay? Pears. Pears have roughly about 92% of water, so you can get you a pear in. A couple bites a day, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get the water, you know? Um, what else we got? What else we got? Um, I love these. Berries. Delicious berries. These have so much water in it, right? I get the mixed organic mixed berries. I also just get the straight uh, blueberries. So I get organic. Oh, and then here we go. We have, um, these are mangoes. You can get some mangoes. And also you can get pineapples too. Pineapples, they have a roughly like 91 or 92% of water. So make sure you get you some mangoes, pineapples as well. And last but not least, some kale. Get you some kale. All right. Kale, spinach. Man, this has, you're looking about 95% of water are in these fruits and veggies. This is a sure way to hack 
into making sure that you're getting an adequate amount of uh, water without feeling like, man, I only got three bottles of water in today. Well, man, go get, make you a big old smoothie with any of these fruits and vegetables or all of them. Put them in, you know, make you two big smoothie cups, right? And then take them to work with you or carry them with you. And then it's tasty. It doesn't feel, it doesn't be like, ah, it's bland. I don't want to put no lemon in it. It's getting boring, right? During those times where it gets boring, because some it ain't sexy to drink water. I know that. I understand. You know, I'm drinking water every day, all day. You okay? But these are ways to hack and to make it interesting and make it fun. And this is something that you can do with the family as well, too. Okay? Well, I hope that helped you on your journey. Uh, we've been doing the hydration challenge where we drink four to eight bottles of water a day or half a gallon to a gallon. Okay? A day. This is going to help keep our skin healthy. This is going to help keep our beard and our hair happy, right? So, and this is going to help us as a natural way of detoxifying, getting all that waste, all those toxins, all those harmful things that's in our bodies, getting that out of our system, okay? So we can continue to look our best, feel our best, and do our best. Click the notification, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This is your boy, B, the beard and hair science guy. And i see you guys on the next episode. Don't forget, leave that comment. You already know. We out.